I and my three co-founders, um, we all came from luxury. And, and I guess I and my colleagues coming from that world, 10 years ago, we were just getting increasingly frustrated by the lack of, I mean, there's a stronger word in there than frustrated, but let's, let's, let's use that one for the moment. We were just so frustrated with the lack of digital desire that the brands that we were working for those days were showing. Ironically, in those days, people with money were, i.e. luxury's heartland, were actually statistically, through research, more likely to be using networks and understanding the value of collaborative digital tools to, to make money, because that's what's happening in this city. So we saw that. And really, we started um, Pollution, really more as a, not as a technology company, but more as an, as an organization to help understand the role of technology between old school luxury didn't believe in it and this new emerging digital consumer. If you type in retail innovation into YouTube, you see a, a, a lot of videos of um, sales assistants having to drag somebody over to this piece of digital and explain and show them how it's used. So, okay, that's fine for PR, but, but we've got to find a way of getting that shopper over here and using it. And that means that that technology has got to have a very obvious value to the consumer and a very obvious way of accessing that, that value by a really intuitive user uh, journey or user experience. And it's probably not the one that you use on your iPhone because that was developed for you looking at the news and interacting with Facebook on a bus. So we always come at it from the other way. Technology is always the very, very last piece of what we do. We come up with interesting ideas that deliver a business need, and then we see what is the right type of technology. And because of that, that's why we work across such a wide range of different ideas and technologies. And that's why we do a wearable piece every year. We do augmented reality, we do holography, we do big data visualization, we do, we've, we've just done a project that involves 3D printing, artificial intelligence, open source robotics, and fashion. <laughs> that's quite an unusual little collection. In a physical store, if you walk in and pick up a, a jacket and try it on, you, you want to look cool, you want to look handsome, you want to look good looking. And if you don't, you won't buy that item. No one will buy clothing that they don't look good in. So te technology has got to at least deliver an experience that's, that's as good as that in store. I don't like looking at iPads. I don't like looking down. I like understanding that in a physical store, it's about the architecture and the product. Um, outside of the store, it's about your mobile and screens. But in a store, we've got to find a way of people being able to access, pick up, and enjoy product digitally, but without forcing people to look at screens.